When Rio Vaya was launched in August 2009, it was billed as a much needed, affordable and efficient public transport system. Commuters paid between 4 and 50 and 12 rand a ticket, depending on the trip. But it's not that simple with the new smart card. You have to give your ID number, your name, uh, your signature, your phone number. The second problem is that there seems to be a minimum amount you can load on the card, but no one's really clear what that minimum amount is. So the first day it, we heard it was 50 rand, um, another day we heard it was 25, we've heard 20, 30, and then the latest amount was 14 rand 50. It's not the only hiccup. The new system isn't popular with commuters either. I pay this maybe 100 rand. After two days it's finished. When you ask, they tell you, you checked in, you forgot to check out. Inside the bus you might find out some machines in the bus, they are not working at all. And if they are not working, it means you cannot check out. I used the card for two days, but zero balance. Then they gave me the, man that, the, the number that I should call uh, the call center, and then they told me that uh, the phone was just ringing all by itself. There's no one answering, even if you go to the customer care. Those people, they're not well trained. Despite consumer dissatisfaction, the city of Johannesburg thinks the new system is for the best. In our view, the majority of consumers have really taken well to the new system. It's something different for them. It's something new in South Africa. It's even new in the world. And we generally think that the transition has gone very well. We are aware that there have been some hitches. Um, for example, when the power supplies goes down, we haven't been quickly enough able to put it up again. Which is of little comfort to those who have had to find alternative transport because they can no longer afford to take the rear via buses. Nerissa Subramani, Johannesburg. News that moves. ENCA.com